Good day, everybody. How are you today? I hope you're doing well and this reading finds you in a good way. This is Empathic Moon 777 and I am your tarot card reader, Durga Diana. I want to welcome you to this reading. It's a collective love reading that is um, for our beautiful collective. And um, I didn't do the reading yesterday, so I'm, I'm doing the reading today. And um, we're going to see what's coming through to for today. So I also, on my Instagram, I just wanted to mention that I have um, an updated schedule for readings, what I'm going to do um, during the week on, on YouTube. So um, if you're wondering about that, I'm going to be doing the Daily Tarot Messages from Loving Spirit series. This is this one right here. I'm going to offer that Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And then I'm going to do Twin Flame readings on... Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays so those will be shorter type of uh, readings they might be an, an energy update or they could be a specific uh, topic that spirit wants to talk about and then um, I'm going to do a more in-depth reading for the twin flames uh, during the weekend either that will be Saturday or Sunday all right if you're interested in personal readings I do I do suggest that I do offer that as well um if you feel like uh, we can connect in that way, and I would be honored to do a reading uh, for you, um, just be sure that you know you're you're doing so in a in a good state of mind, and um, we'll work together in that way. Also, um, I just wanted to mention too in this reading, this is a, a collective reading that's coming through, so it may not resonate with you. It may it may or it may not, or it may in some ways. So only take what resonates and simply leave what does not and follow your intuition on the reading and take the energies how they apply to your unique situation. There is a lot of troubling energies that are coming through today, guys. So uh, bear with me on that and then we'll see what's going to happen today. Um, this is an open reading here. So this is what's happening right now. And um, it's it's it may be your person. It may be yourself. So um, just really be aware of the energies and uh, take the energy how they apply, okay? So I didn't say your person. This is just something that's open right now. Okay, so we're going to get started about what the situation of this reading has to do with, okay? The overall situation is that today uh, what's coming through in the collective is that there is this energy of the, there's, there is some kind of disharmony. This could involve other people, and it's associated with the heart space. So there's something troubling the heart space. There is some kind of misalignment in the heart space. You might be working alone. Uh, you might be feeling like you're alone or working alone in connection to your heart center. So this may be about you doing work on your heart chakra. This could be about working alone in connection to something that is dear to you in the heart center. Um, and this could have could have had involved other people where there was some kind of disharmony and then uh, now it's like this misalignment is now uh, you have to work alone because uh, and it's associated with the heart center. So either something was happening in the community that uh, affected the heart chakra, like affected a healthy heart. Like uh, what I'm seeing is like this heart, this love energy like that energy, like that high vibrational energy, there was something that is causing disharmony. And so uh, because of that, uh, maybe perhaps you're working alone in connection to the heart chakra now. And so there may be some kind of um, uh, work here that may be troublesome when it comes to the heart because of the situation that occurred. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. And um, it's related to uh, saying what you mean. And then we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So there may be some type of repressed emotions here with saying what you mean. All right. So there's something like there's some kind of uh, communication here. Maybe it's not happening. Um, or maybe people are not communicating what they mean, truly what they mean. And you see that these two people here, like they kind of look kind of upset it's kind of like an ego. It could be about ego. Um, but really, like, there's some kind of energy here where people are not communicating about what's going on here. And uh, there is some kind of repressed emotions in connection to that. 
Um, and um, this is a like, maybe this is an energy too of needing to self love in connection to this, um, say what you mean here, because we have a lot of like heart energy here, but the heart, there's something going on in the heart, right? The the heart chakra, like the cup is spilled down, like it's it's upside down, so it's coming out. And um, there's other people involved here, and um, it's like somebody's not saying what they mean, all right? And there's some kind of emotions connected to that. Either you have those emotions, or it's it's your person that um, has these emotions. And uh, also, there's this um, disharmony with other people. And now somebody's working alone. This could be you. This could be your person or the both of you are now working alone in connection to this. But it's having to do with this energy of love, this high vibrational love energy. Okay, so there's something um, that uh, is... There's things there inside of the heart. There's wounds inside of the heart, okay? That um, is causing this, um, perhaps this misalignment, perhaps this disharmony. Uh, the overall, um, what's going to happen here? The overall of what's going to happen. So the overall message uh, of this reading is that there is this energy of disharmony again probably distrust there's breakup energy and there's an energy of needing to self-love in connection to this disharmony excuse me um and suffering in silence all right uh this is like the nine of swords suffering in silence is like you're alone you're you're basically alone and you're suffering maybe this person can't communicate with other people all right there's suffering inside and that suffering that's happening it's not an easy it's not easy so um there is an energy here where there is disharmony all right there's and it's it's associated with two people here okay so this is like either this could be you and your person all right you're suffering in silence because of this harmony with this connection or maybe there was a perhaps a breakup all right, there maybe there was a breakup or distrust or all of the above, but either way, there's disharmony inside of this uh, suffering in silence. This is the message coming through, and uh, it's associated with this energy of the two of wands and um, the love affair. So either this is uh, somebody was involved in some kind of affair. All right. There was maybe some kind of cheating involved. Maybe there was some kind of secrets. But there was an energy here where somebody was um, involved in some kind of affair with somebody. So there was a third party uh, or there was like a, a third party involved. And uh, this energy here, there's somebody observing this energy here. So it, it, it could have happened or it may have not have happened, but somebody's observing this energy here. And this person that's observing this, they're, they're seeing a lot of disharmony. They're seeing a lot of disharmony and suffering in silence. All right. So this could have occurred or it may not have occurred because it says here they're observing or they could be planning in connection to this energy. All right. Let's get another card for this Two of Wands. Can I get another energy for this Two of Wands with this love affair, please and thank you? <clears throat> okay. Okay, so there's an energy here. Um, somebody may be planning to uh, be independent all right, somebody being independent, somebody going on their own, somebody working on themselves, you know, independent and strong, working on their physical life, physical pentacles, their work, uh, their home, right? They're, they're making some plans in connection to this energy that has to do with the love affair, okay? So however way this love affair energy resonates for you, um, there is some kind of planning energy with the... Um, planning in connection to an independent 
strong, independent energy, all right, associated with the suffering and silence. All right, so that's what's happening. And then we're going to get into the uh, situations today. And then the messages from spirit. So today, somebody's in this energy of mental conflict. We have a lot of swords. We have suffering and silence. We have a lot of mental entrapment here. This is really terror. It's terrorizing to have this. To be in this energy, it's 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 silent. You're you're the one that's going through it. Nobody else is going through it, but you. And it's painful. Like it's stressful. It's scary. Um, and really, it's from the mind. The mind is overgoing. Like it's overactive. It's bringing up all these things, thinking about all the things that are wrong with the situation or to be what to be afraid. And you know what? Uh, it's related to obstacles and challenges. So there is like a vision or they're thinking and it's causing you to be trapped or whoever to be trapped with this obstacles and challenges. Like the steps that they're going to get to the other side. It's like, it's so terror. It's like terrorizing. Like it, it's scary. Like they're not sure. There's a lot of fear here. Uh, with obstacles and challenges in their pathway all right it's it's debilitating them in the mind and not only that they're maybe having hard time sleeping at night they're maybe getting a lot of different dreams and the stress and anxiety that's coming through is related to cycles all right so a cycle of time so um cycles like this wheel of fortune here like we all go through different cycles in our lifetime and so the cycle here is this, there's a cycle here that I feel like there's, there's a stress with the cycle because it's causing a lot of stress. It's causing to, to, it's causing you or this person to see only obstacles and challenge. And it's, there's a lot of fear here. All right. So this is what's going on. And then spirit's message in connection to that is crown chakra. So either spirit saying to align your crown chakra or this is spirit saying there's something happening in the crown chakra at this time. And it could make sense because here we have a lot of swords energy. The crown chakra is on top of your head. Spirit saying is is there's a lot of burdens in connection to your in into your crown chakra. So there's a lot of things that you're taking on at this time. A lot of burdens, a lot of things that you are carrying at this time. Probably either on top of this situation here, there may be other multiple things that you are also carrying. Um, and it's causing a burden in connection to your crown chakra. This is your alignment to spirit. All right. When you're aligned to spirit, there is no burdens. You flow through life um, a lot better. Um, you feel more free. There is no stress. Right. Um, and it's strength in connection to denial. All right. So having the power, having the courage, having the willpower, the stability and the confidence and the fearlessness, you know, strength is like um, being able to move, right? Being able to move. There is no fear there and having strength over denial. So there is this denial is associated with the cycle. Perhaps that's what I'm getting here. And and this is this whole situation is is stopping you from moving to where you need to go, right? Um, so um, this their message here, and I feel like it's a message for you, is that there is a burden in your crown. I think one of the messages here too with this crown is to start light aligning to your crown, maybe unblocking your crown chakra, maybe aligning yourself to spirit so that you feel more grounded in the world because there is this denial here. And I feel like with this denial here, not facing the truth, irrational reasoning, it is, uh, it's causing this stress and it's causing this anxiety and causing you to see uh, obstacles and challenges because there is this denial. There is a cycle here that's occurring here. This could be something that has been repeated, repeating in your life here. Uh, and there's telling you that there is a burden of your crown. So um, maybe perhaps looking at the crown chakra, look at it, what is, what is involved, how you could start to heal and open up your crown chakra to be more in alignment with spirit and be more in alignment with yourself. The second uh, situation today we have here is shadow. 
So there's a lot of heavy energies happening today for whoever this reading is for. The shadow is negative. I don't want to say negativity, but there is a negative and there is a light inside each and every one of us. There's a shadow and there's a light. There's nothing wrong. Everybody has that. But the thing is, is when you're battling your shadow, it's hard. It's hard to battle when you're battling your shadow. Okay, so the shadows is the negativity, right? The shadows are um, the, the things that, uh, you know, are the not so great things inside of us that come out. All right. So, and it's hard sometimes to to balance that shadow with that light because sometimes the shadow is very strong. The shadow is coming through here. And uh, there's an energy here of turning the wheel in your favor in connection to the shadow. So there is an energy to get out of the darkness. That's what I'm getting here. There is an energy of wanting to move out. And this wheel of fortune is turning in, in, in your favor. So this is happening for the good. Um, so there is, a, there is a desire here or there is an energy here of moving out of this shadow energy. This could be associated with the cycle and uh, it's related to a hole in the soul, all right? There is a really, really painful energy here coming through. We have nine of swords, eight of swords, hole in the soul, obstacles and challenges, shadow. Somebody is really, really going through it right now, okay? Hole in the soul is like you are torn up, all right? There's nothing inside of you. Uh, like you're, you're, you don't know like why you're even here, perhaps, uh, there's just despair, just a deep, like maybe perhaps even emptiness here. And um, it's related to the seven of swords in reverse. This is about either uh, keeping secrets about this hole in the soul. But I really feel this is about um, an energy where you feel lack. You feel um, like you're nothing, like it's almost like that energy where you just feel so low and so lackful. It's, um, it's almost like you, other people are better than you and you are so bad kind of thing. Um, it's, it's feeling like very, this is also anxiety as well. Like when you're facing other people, maybe you feel like you're so like low to them. Um, and this is the energy, right? This is the energy. This is not the truth of who you are. This is the energy that's coming through with this hole in the soul, all right? And so the message here from Spirit is that um, uh, there is an energy here of the Ten of um, Cups. Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment. This is a very happy energy. This is like emotionally fulfilled in your heart. You feel emotionally fulfilled in your life, in your body, in your world. When you look out into the world, you feel that sense of gratitude. You feel that love. You feel that wholeness. And you feel like that harmony is there around you and it within you. And it's all around you. And you feel really blessed. So this energy here... <clears throat> This Ten of Pentacles here, I mean, this Ten of um, Cups here is inside of this movement choices and decision. And uh, it's related to persevering through recalling, reminiscing, memories, returning. All right. So um, what I'm getting here is that right now there is an energy here of making some type of decision here. Maybe making a choice as to what doorway you're going to go through and how you're going to move forward, all right? Um, Spirit is saying that there is going to be some kind of energy here where um, you're going to be moving in this direction. There is this Ten of, Pen Ten of Cups inside of this uh, movement and decision. So um, I feel like Spirit is saying that you are going to be taking the doorway that's going to be leading you towards this happiness, all right? It may not seem like it, all right, but it is going to, you are going to be moving in that direction. All right, there is going to be some kind of decision that you're going to be making. All right, and whatever it is that you're going to choose, I feel like it's going to be associated with this Ten of Cups. Now, this Ten of Cups may not be exactly, you know, what you may be visioning because also, too, when you're going through this doorway, you're going to, it's, um, 
spirit if you're what you're wanting to manifest right uh, it may not happen uh, the way that you uh, envision it. So it's always good to surrender, all right? To surrender and to let go, uh, even of your uh, perception of or how this perfect vision that you have. Uh, maybe you have it, maybe you don't. Um, you're going to need to release that and, um, and allow to go through uh, this doorway uh, through spirit with this ten of pentacles I think I, I really feel like I needed to say that and to persevere uh, nine of wands persevere is you know you've gone through the battles you've gone through it clearly whoever this is has gone through it uh, there is going to be an energy to continue to persevere uh, with these feelings of recalling uh, with this person uh, reminiscing uh, memories of this person um, persevere to persevere through that and to uh, go through this doorway and I feel like this doorway is going to be guided by spirit if you allow spirit to to guide you through that uh, ten of pen ten of pentacles I keep wanting to say that ten of pentacles and ten of cups that's probably what it is and um, allowing them to to do that for you um, and so that that is going to involve some type of releasing uh, if there is any kind of perfect vision that you have and really allowing spirit to guide you through through that uh, doorway. All right. That's that's what's coming through, guys. Um, so let me know if this resonates uh, for this person that this reading is for. Uh, I wish you the best. I'm going to keep you in my prayers today, sending you lots of love and light. And uh, I will uh, see you guys on Monday. I will be doing a Twin Flame reading this weekend. It will be more of an in-depth reading, guys. And if this resonated, be sure to follow. Uh, leave a like if this reading resonated. It really helps me. It really helps the channel. Um, and I really appreciate your support. And to the soul tribe that we are developing, how uh, we are working together Um in this journey i'm really grateful for that and i will do my best uh so i love you guys and take care um i'll see you on monday take care